Howdy folks and welcome back to Cattle and Crops. Today I'm going to do a quick video over the uh, field guidance system. Basically it's that's the uh, GPS auto steer type system in Cattle and Crops. And it is fairly straightforward but I thought I'd do a quick video just in case there was any confusion. So I'm set up here, I've got this field uh, 22 here. It's pretty much ready to harvest. There's a few spots that are still green but we're going to harvest it anyway. So the first thing we want to do is get kind of lined up with uh, the long axis, wherever, wherever we're wanting to harvest. And I'm going to ignore like doing headlands and that kind of stuff. It's just going to strictly be about how to set up the field guidance system. So we're roughly lined up with the field. I'm going to push uh, P, which is the default key to bring up the field guidance system. And I'm going to turn on the parallel track, and I'm going to turn on the visibility. You can hide it. It's a little eye icon there. Hit the refresh button. It'll basically refresh uh, to line up with your current heading of your vehicle. And then if you do that here, make changes, you can reset it back. So it's automatically detected the 9.3 meter header. I think that's correct. I mean, it looks it looks good. I've noticed on the fertilizer spreader it does 24 meters instead of the full 42 for whatever reason. Again, P just toggles this window where you can set it up. So you can see it looked kind of like I was aligned with the field, but not exactly. These buttons down here, you can do 90 degrees at a time or one degree at a time, and we'll just rotate that around to where it's, you know, fairly well lined up with the field it's not going to be exact and then we can move it around with the track offset something like that and you can change the width if you want if you want to make sure you're not having any overlap I'm just going to let it auto detect and we'll go from there and there's also the button here you can turn on auto track you notice there's icons down here that means the parallel track system is engaged um, this is the first iteration of the FGS, so I assume we'll get more modes and headland support and that kind of thing in the future. For right now, you've got this little icon with the parallel tracks to show that it's enabled. And then we also have the auto steer, and I'll put this little button down here, or this little icon down here, to let you know that the tractor or combine is going to auto steer. So I'm going to turn off the lines just because I like it that way close that down I'm gonna get this off center just so it becomes more obvious that we're locked on the combine ready to harvest there we go and I'm gonna push O the default key is O to engage the auto steer And it'll steer along that track. Oh, not that, not that fast. <laughs> there we go. And if I pull that up with P, I can turn on the little icon. We'll be able to see. I'll leave that on as we do the turn, actually. So I'm not down to the end of the field yet, but let's let's assume you're down at the end of the field. So I'm going to raise the header up. I'm going to turn off the auto steer. Although you can override it when it's on. As soon as you let off the key, it will uh, start trying to auto steer again. So it's a little awkward. So I'm just going to turn it off. Get pointed kind of in the right direction. I'm going to re-engage that auto steer over the header. And this... You'll see it here, how it's going to line right back up on that track. There you have it. One thing to note, uh, some people that use a wheel, steering wheel for input, uh, the auto lock, the steering lock will not work. I think the, any kind of wheel movement will immediately kick it off. Um, I've seen some people have success with a workaround. If you do have a wheel, 
Just go ahead and provide some steering input with the keyboard and don't touch your wheel. And then the auto lock should lock on. If it's not working for you, give that a try until they get that fixed. That's pretty much all there is to it. It's a pretty basic system right now. You can uh, change the direction. You can change the initial alignment with the field. And you can set your work width and just disengage and engage the steering locks. If you have any questions, put them in the comments down below. Thanks as always for tuning in, and I will catch you next time.